Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about why bliss is always our natural state. So, you know, a lot of times in our regular lives, we don't feel super blissed out. Maybe we feel cranky or stressed or, you know, we have all these range of emotions and feelings that we have. And yet you've had this experience many times where you're feeling cranky, you head out for a little walk in nature, or maybe you just step into the shower, clear your, clear your mind. And suddenly when you're not really paying attention to anything, all of a sudden you just feel amazing. Maybe you see the, the leaves fluttering. And you just are captivated and sort of entranced by the leaves. And as you watch them, the wind comes up and you feel this rustling. And as you watch that, you notice an animal. And as you watch that, you just suddenly feel the warmth of the sun and you just go right into a bliss, a blissful vibration. You expand instantly. Or maybe it's just like you're in the shower and you feel cranky when you step in and then the warm water starts to come over you and you just relax and then you're sudsing up with your shampoo and suddenly you just feel blissed out. Something as simple as a shower. And what's happening is you are letting go of the negative thought loop, which can be very powerful and very strong. It's like this, this thought loop that we just loop and loop and loop and loop on. And for whatever moment the vibration, for, for whatever reason the vibration of nature or the physicality of the shower takes you out of that negative thought loop just for a moment. And suddenly you notice the amazing bliss of your experience. Or perhaps it's not nature or it's not the shower. It's really, um, you're, you're actively doing meditation. You were cranky and stressed. You go into meditation and suddenly everything changes for you. You feel peaceful and calm and happy and relaxed and you feel the love of everything. Or maybe it's even less dramatic than that. Maybe you're just looping, 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 looping your thoughts of whatever those worries and anxieties are. And then you just move your attention to something else. You just give something else your pure attention. It could be work or it could be you talk to someone else, but it might be something as simple as you just decide to notice an object near you, perhaps your coffee cup. You just begin to put your full attention on that object. And as you do that, you distract or disrupt yourself out of that looping thought and you enter back into awareness, into expanded consciousness. And that's a really easy tool, you know, to just, when you're so angry or stressed or whatever, uh, just to put your attention fully on something and notice how your mind shifts back into expanded state or, or what we call bliss state. You know, the book talks about, here's the taste, here's from messages from the divine, the taste of a papaya, an apple. Who could imagine these things? The feeling of skin on skin in affection, in healing, in sex, the entire nervous system attuned to everything when a sudden rain arrives and washes you clean. If you aren't feeling this, why not? 
What purpose does it serve you to stay asleep, to stay constrained, to stay distracted, to stay numb? This idea, if you're not blissed out, you're not paying attention, we say pay attention. There is not one minute to waste. I'm Sarah Wiseman. We're teaching from the book Messages from the Divine. You will find it and me at sarahwiseman.com.